What is happening guys? Cowboy here and in this video we're going to be talking about Coral. Now if you've been playing Armored Core 6, Coral is obviously a major aspect of this game. We're chasing after the Coral, all the corporations want to collect it, eventually there's enemies that utilize the Coral, and you can actually obtain weapons that use Coral yourself. Now obviously this is a rather late game oriented thing, but already I have a lot of people asking where to find the Coral weapons, people that are trying to complete uh, the all parts type achievements, and the Coral weapons are still evading them. And fortunately they're actually pretty easy to find, but they are quite late game. So obvious spoilers as we're jumping into late game type stuff in this video, but let's jump into the assembly, look at the various Coral weapons, and then talk about where we obtain them. So hopping into assembly, the first one we're going to be looking at here is the NB Redshift. Now this is a coral rifle, very similar to the Nebula Institute rifle. And just looking at the stat difference here, you can see it has a couple areas. It's better, all in all, less heat on the charge buildup, as well as less ammo consumption, better raw attack power, and better cumulative impact and blast radius. Looking at the video of this, you can see that the coral weapon is going to have the, the very distinct reddish-orange explosion that, that they are known for. And all in all, these are just really fun to play with. They're super cool. Besides that, we also gain access to the Coral Rifle. Now, this is a pretty interesting rifle, very similar to the Karasawa in the sense that it is going to have a three-tiered charge type shot. We have a typical straight shot that comes out from the rifle. We have a fast charge with the rifle that is going to be more of a railgun-esque beam. And then we have a level three charge, which by default is going to go into manual aim, but allows you to wave around a massive beam of energy that's more reminiscent of something out of an anime. Besides these two ranged weapons, we also have a couple weapons on the melee side of things as well. Hopping on over to those and going to the top of our list here, we can see we have the ML Redshift Coral Oscillator. Now this is essentially just a red version of the Moonlight. It has an identical moveset to the Moonlight, it has the two slashes, it has the charge attack, but compared to the Moonlight, this is actually a little bit stronger in some aspects. If we were to look at a direct comparison, we have the Moonlight right here, pulling it on up, can see we have better raw attack power, impact, and a cumulative impact, along with better PA interference and a direct hit adjustment. So while charged attacks are going to pull ahead on the Moonlight, any other normal attacks are going to be great with this. But the really cool thing here is if you want, you could have the Moonlight on one hand and then this on your back and just be Blade Beam Boy. Uh, but definitely a really cool weapon there. And then of course, the Coral Oscillator, perhaps one of the most devastating melee weapons in the game. This thing has a charged attack range of 288 meters an absolutely staggering weapon that is able of hitting enemies at quite an insane range considering it's a melee weapon but it has a single charge in vertical slash that's going to hit enemies and then the charge attack is a massive sweep which as i mentioned you can start that up at 288 meters out and still connect with it Lastly, moving on over to the shoulder side of things, we have a couple other coral type weapons to look at. The Coral Shield, the IBC-03W4 NGI-028. Now what's nice about this shield is it's going to completely enclose you. So if it's missile fire that's coming in, that's your threat, or enemies hitting from behind, the Coral Shield is a great go-to choice to shut down incoming damage since it's gonna protect you from all angles. And then lastly, we have the Coral Missile. If I can find the thing, where'd it go? Where are you at? Where are you at, my beautiful? There we are, the Coral Missile Launcher IBC-03W3 NGI-006. This thing is an absolute monster. It has really slow tracking in the way it chases enemies, and when it hits, it goes off with a massive explosion. The charge attack is also incredibly potent, sending out beams in addition to the rocket that will chase after the enemy, dealing some damage until the rocket finally hits and does a huge explosion similar to before. Now. All of these weapons are considered late game weapons. In fact, all of them essentially come from going all the way up to new game plus plus. That means your third playthrough of the game. But if you have the resilience to push that far ahead, they are completely worth it. So let's talk about where we get them. To start, quite a few of these are actually gonna come from the arena. Once you get into New Game Plus Arena, you're going to see there are three restricted tiers, and as you continue to press through the campaign, these are going to gradually be unlocked. The first one, or excuse me, the second one here, is going to be a battle against Hal, which is one of the bosses of the game, although it's going to be a toned-down version of him. Completing this arena will reward you with the Coral Rifle that we showcased earlier. Once you get even farther, you're going to unlock the third arena, which is going to be against a uh, mechanized version of Ire. 
another boss from the game, but we are going to be fighting her in her regular AC form as opposed to boss form, and completing this is going to get us the Redshift Rifle as well as the Redshift Moonlight. As for the missiles and the shield, those are actually going to be in a mission, so we're going to hop into the sortie and show exactly where to find those. Obviously, very late game mission here. Regain control of this island. It's a pretty hard mission, and on top of that, it's actually kind of tricky to find these because you're on the clock, and while you're trying to go through, you're trying to locate these things, and you have the timer against you. But let's jump on in and show where to find these two things in the mission. All night is after Overseer. Main system, activating combat mode. So with this first one right down at the start here here's our first chest and right in here we're going to find the coral missile now besides the coral missile the shield is also on this level but it's going to be a little bit farther so first we're going to have to fight our way past a bunch of enemies to make our way on over to it parasite module destroyed This thing is just going all over the place. Come here. But once we get into the second zone, we're going to have to clear out these various enemies again. And the trick here is you're going to need to find the cloaked units, essentially. And then once you take them down, they are going to reveal the location of the things that we need to blow up. Taking down the enemy, we now have access to the targets that we need to kill. Left hand ammunition at 30%. I've seen better odds. Now as we begin going to the third module, here is where we're gonna be able to find the chest. And what we're gonna actually do is finish taking these enemies out so we can really show you where to find the chest while we're not under the threat of a timer. So many damn enemies in this mission. Alright, so with all of the enemies dead, it wants us to head on over here for the next checkpoint. Instead, we're going to go to the back here. Right here, we're able to jump down, and there is going to be another chest right there. So there's the progressive point. Here is going to be the chest, and that is going to be the coral shield that you're able to obtain. Now, the very last and final weapon we get, of course, is the coral oscillator. That's the big one that does the giant, massive blade beam sweep. And unfortunately, that one's going to be the hardest to obtain because it's going to require you to reach Hunter Class 15, which is from obtaining every single battle log in the game. So as I mentioned at the start, very, very late game type items here. Essentially, you're not going to have these until you're all the way through New Game Plus Plus. But I know a lot of people have been asking and trying to finish off their weapon list. And that is where you find them. So either way, that's going to wrap things up for me. Thanks for coming on by and I'll catch you all next time.